Hungry Valley State Vehicle Recreational Area. This is January 27th, 2024. We noticed that there is a new obstacle out here. My friend Manny in his modified Honda Ridgeline drove up it. This is a 40 degree, not 40%, but 40 degree climb. So this is basically a, probably like a 92% grade. And I know a lot of you are watching this and you're probably thinking, ah, I could drive up that in a Toyota Camry. Or I could just crawl up that in my Jeep. And if I told you that this is more difficult than you think, you probably wouldn't believe me. So let me just show you. Awesome though, we're actually getting footage of cars like trying to crawl it and then sliding back down. Yeah, because then people are going to say, well, that's easy. I know. Oh my god. You've got to use momentum. Another thing to point out too is there is a Kind of a dip be before this obstacle and there's some rocks that are stacked in front of it so it prevents people from just getting a running start and trying to drive up after manny and his ridgeline drove up this obstacle it was getting swarmed everyone else wanted to take a crack at it so let's take a full listen at the honda ridgelines run and then I'll talk about why it was able to drive up where the other vehicles weren't. Because he's going to try this steep climb. <laughs> Dude, that was a, a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. So I made the comment that was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be because like many of you that are watching, I thought a Jeep would just be able to crawl up this, but it ends up not being the case. There will be a group of you that will say, well, the other guys just can't drive. And I mean, that's somewhat true. Well, kinda, <laughs> you guys are being too harsh. It takes a high level of skill and commitment and confidence to drive up this. Do you really want to risk rolling and totaling your vehicle just to drive up a stupid hill? I personally wouldn't, I'd be too scared. Look at this, a person in our group is just staring at the sky. Not giving up. Not giving up. <laughs> Just sky. Just stay straight. Stay straight. Okay. I got it. Yeah. And now you're at the top. Jesus Christ. Yeah. No thanks. Not for me. <laughs> but my buddy Abel in his four wheel drive, first generation Porsche Cayenne, is going to give this a try. He knows what he's getting himself into. Abel's four-wheel drive Porsche Cayenne has a V8 turbo. This is the fastest version of this Porsche. And it has about, I think, 550 horsepower and an equal amount of torque. How'd that feel, Abel? Uh, sketchy. I felt as if uh, at any point I stopped in the middle of it, things probably would have gone bad. So, for sure, keep the momentum steady the whole time. And then, what about you? Were also, I heard you talking about like you can't speed up either. Yeah. You keep it constant. Keep the RPM, like, you have to pick one and stick to it. Because the first time around, I for sure smoked the tires because I was like, yeah, we saw that. Yeah. <laughs> second time, I actually took it in second gear to just keep it more steady. Because mm. when the first gear, when th any of the tires slipped, they the RPM just shot up. Mm. So, for right. sure for me, it was, second gear worked better. Okay. But it's still in low range, so. You guys are crazy. <laughs> My advice is, unless you know what you're doing, don't, don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. This is one of those obstacles that not only requires vehicle capability, but also skill um, and also just the willingness to work past your fears and drive up. It's something that a lot of us aren't willing to risk. I, I'm personally one of those people that would not risk driving up something like this. Also, I have to point out that the Honda Ridgeline is actually a capable platform, especially behind the wheel of a skilled driver. And definitely keep watching this episode. There's a lot more. We have way more obstacles and a lot of vehicles. We're going to see a lot of Land Cruiser 80s and the flex that they have. It's very impressive. And here's Land Cruiser 80 right here. You're not really missing much audio. There isn't exhaust sounds coming out from this Land Cruiser. But you can see that he took this nice and steady. The key is to not slow down at any point. You got to keep constant throttle, but you also can't freak out and just go pedal to the metal because if your rpms get too high and it shifts to the next gear and you lose all that momentum you're going to be in big trouble so just to be clear a modern four-wheel drive with a low gear transfer case and a solid axle will be more off-road capable than a unibody all-wheel drive with independent suspension this video just shows that there is a level where vehicle capability alone is not enough at the same time driver skill won't be enough no matter how skilled you are i can confidently say that a toyota camry will not make it up this steep hill what's up everybody we're out here in gorman california this is hungry valley state vehicle recreational area I'm here with manny manny come on so um, I'm so happy that you're here because you get to show off the capabilities of the Honda platform 
and then I could just chill and record. <laughs> I'm just kind of not willing to co uh, commit, and I've always said it that I'm not a I'm not a good driver. I'm not a bad driver, uh, off roader, but I'm not a good one. And I always said that uh, a better a better driver could really show off the capabilities. And Line's going for it. Oh man, that looks pretty bad. If he gets up this, I'll be impressed. But we've been up this before, and uh, that's all right. He's doing okay so far. He's crawling it too. God, he made it. <laughs> I'm not trying that, man. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> and, and Manny, would you consider yourself like the best off-roader ever? No. How long have you been off-roading? Um, since the since probably around the time when we first tested the brake line. Mark. So, so not how, very long. How many years is that? I don't know, like two. So he has like yeah, two, years two, two years of off-road experience. Yeah. <laughs> I have. Um, I've been overlanding since like 2016. But the thing is, I, I'm just not, I'm not willing to take on like the, the yeah. hard stuff. And if you don't take on the hard stuff, you're just not going to be used to it. You could have yeah, 30 years experience, but if you never actually do anything difficult. I, I, I do push my stuff a little harder only because I'm trying to test the modifications that, that I, I've done. So. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you could, could you, uh, I mean, <laughs> not not to hide anything. I've uh, I've I've broken something where I had to have, you know, I had to have someone go pick up spare parts from the shop and I had to fix it out here. But you wanted to disclose what that was? Yeah, it was the uh, the one of the struts actually. Right. It was your it was your front passenger uh, strut. Yep. So the upper control arm didn't fail. The tie rod didn't fail. The there axle it, didn't fail. The thing that broke was the strut. Yeah, it was the strut. It was yeah. the strut. Um, and it, and what what was that? Uh, trail sport. Uh, that was actually it was so a trail it was sport strut. Strut. <laughs> it was a trail sport yeah. trail sport strut out of a twenty twenty three Honda Pilot, yeah. uh, which is a uh, it's a newer generation compared. The way it broke too. I mean, I was you were really I, I was trying to use momentum to get up right. or something to get up. Yeah, right. yeah, the middle one that I the, climbed up so slow this time. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, pr prior to breaking it, I had done that middle line three times, and then mm. someone said, "Hey, can you do it again?" Yeah, I tried to do it a little faster, and then that's what uh -huh. I Because I was, I was trying to do it without using line lock. And I, I preach to people when you use momentum, you risk breaking something. One hundred. That was a perfect example, yeah. right? Um, I, 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 you know, I keep forgetting that you just re-geared your Honda. Yep, it is re-geared, <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why you're able to drive those things. Drive that's, up those things a lot slower. That's why I went a lot slower to test it because this is my first time out here with the Regan. Wow. So I purposely went a little bit slower just to see yeah. uh, how it does. And yeah, it, it did very well, even though yeah. uh, what, it's what that, that's you, why I you know what the factory yeah. um, crawl ratio is. What is it? 20.4 to 1. Okay, so the new one is 21.8. Man, he's going to do it. I'm scared, man. <laughs> I'm actually scared for Manny. Dang. So even with that wheel there, it just goes up. That's just crazy. Yeah. I kind of feel like the Ridgeline rear diff is better than... Manny says it's the same thing, but there's something about it. I don't know if it's because of, because of the bigger axles, but it seems to just do better. What the hell? What the f? <laughs> wow. Wow. Dude. Alright. Got the charcoal Jeep. Is that thing a Rubicon? Good work, Benny.
Dude, I was scared for you. I'm like, uh-oh. Alright, the sheep had a good line. Manny had a good line. Alright, divert our attention over here. <laughs> we were hearing some sounds. Everyone realizes they're going to be on YouTube, right? So, He's on the frame. you do anything, get yourself in an embarrassing situation, it's going to be on the internet. Okay, this is a snap on swivel impact. And it has a, yeah, like a joint in here with a spring. So, and it's also pretty weighty. So. Works good. What size is it? It's a 17. 17. 17. Okay. Should be able to. Uh... Turning the wheel's not going to help. No, because it's gonna it's gonna make it harder to get come off. I see. This gun is huge. <laughs> That's a. It's supposed to be a small version. That was it. That was it. Yep. Okay. Uh, pulled it off already? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. What do you do? Is the it's the bottom? You said? I took off the lower one. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. It just clanks around, but no biggie, right? It usually it doesn't even clank around. Oh, Jesus. There's like a lot of uh -huh. tension uh -huh. on the top of the ball joint. It usually just chills there. Nice. Okay. Huh. All right. You're just kissing it. You... There you go. Rock right here. Bump it. There's a dip right here and and a foot. Coming down. He's still clearing it. Come on going. Yeah, I don't need to purposely hit my rock slider. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up right here. Articulation test right here. Oh, you're just fine. Yeah, I keep forgetting. I, I've never had this articulation because I never disconnected my Start coming this way. <laughs> Nolo Designs makes skid plates for the midsize Honda platform. Protect your ride, make sure you don't have any vehicle ending damage when you're on the trails. Protect your rocker panels with the Trexta Wide Slide Rock Sliders. And increase the ground clearance in your midsize Honda with the Trexta 3.5 inch lift kit. Get up and out of the way of trail damage. V8 twin 
turbo. Cut his exhaust. Is that a six cylinder? Yeah, just a six cylinder. That obstacle has become so eroded and it's a really big challenge nowadays. My channel is all about honesty. I keep it real, not highlight real. And that's why I'm going to show you how easily a Jeep Wrangler JL with solid front axles and disconnected sway bars will drive up these ruts. And we're also going to see two Land Cruiser 80s in action. Jeez, that is a massive rut on the passenger side. Oh, he touched it. You come here often? No, it's my first time here. So this uh, thing to the right, over the years, it's become really, really rutted. I remember I used to be able to drive easily drive up that on my Subaru, but it's got a bit rutted. series is sweet because it still has that front solid axle that's the last year right yeah that's the last year of it so some people what they'll do is they'll uh solid axle swap a uh, hundred series <laughs> Anyone know if this uh, 80 is built out? Because it doesn't have any uh, traction control at all. So I wonder if he's uh, triple locked. No, he's not locked in the rear. Damn, that flex is crazy. That yeah. flex is impressive. I know, it's going all the way up in there. Jeez. It's like 40% of the tire gets tucked up in there. <laughs> Dude, that was nice. Uh, is your 80 triple locked? Nice. Yeah, you got up those. You got up that, uh, that little hill to the right so easily. Oh yeah, triple locked. And now here's a brand new Toyota Tundra. This is going to be front independent suspension, and you'll see the difference. It definitely articulates better than a Honda Ridgeline with a independent rear suspension but this is definitely different than the Land Cruiser 80s and the Jeep.
Get a little momentum. So back up, momentum, and then this way. Stop. Turn, driver, driver. More, more. More, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, good. Driver. Okay, good. Keep going. Keep going all the way over the top. Passenger a little bit. Okay, good, good. Woo, cleared, nice. And now here's the guy that organized this event. This is Joe Park. He also owns a Land Cruiser 100. So one thing to point out is that the first generation Honda Ridgeline has about half the gearing as our ZF9 equipped midsize Hondas. A gearing will make a big difference and this vehicle is stalling out. You know, I probably yeah, would do better at these options now that I disconnected my front. I just like, I'm under the uh, okay, you're come mindset that uh, I'm not going to have as much flex. Yeah, That's why I'm still kind of scared. I need to build up my confidence. everyone i'm here with joe park uh joe park is a are we gonna say it yeah he's fine. a honda engineer uh designer but a oh, designer <laughs> designer but so uh, not involved in upgrading anything like a transmission or anything like so don't ask any technical questions don't comment with anything like that in the video but he invited me out um really fun trip thanks for inviting me out uh we're out here in hungry valley state vehicle recreational area uh, he brought his uh, his 12 friends, or uh, 11 friends, if you don't count yourself. <laughs> I lost track. And uh, Joe, you, you have a basically a Land Cruiser 100, right? A Lexus yeah, got it 570? Four, 470. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. 470? So, yeah. So oh, yeah, okay. Series. Okay. And I uh, brought my uh, Gen 1 Ridge line today to kind of experiment and see what it can do. Yeah. How'd that go? It's actually pretty good. It's real comfy. Yeah. It made it through everything. It's just a, it's not everything. Well, except the, for the big, yeah, except, except for like the ruts and stuff where you need to You, you made it through like, you got through everything except for that last rut. Yeah. And then you got stuck. Yeah. But, uh. That was sad. But it's, uh. It's all right. It, yeah, I was actually impressed that you got that far. You know? <laughs> Well, that's pretty good. I, I learned what I wanted to learn. I, I, I did what I wanted to try. So yeah. you know, now yeah. I know. Now you know. Yeah. Yeah. You have any other questions? I could probably. That's like go, yeah. to, go to Colorado. Just be, care, be careful. <laughs> yeah, cool. I gotta pick you guys' brains, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure.